Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back um, to today's weekly media availability with Austin FC midfielder Daniel Pereira. Um, please give me about a minute to give everyone permission to record. So, one minute. All right, everyone should have permission to record. Um, as always, please use the raise hand function. If you have any questions, we have about 20 minutes and we'll get to as many questions as possible. Um, first up, Mike Craven, go ahead. Hey, Danny, I asked Alex kind of about this earlier. I'm curious, playing alongside him and, you know, even veterans like Diego and stuff, kind of what have you picked up um, from guys who have played a lot of games in this league? Um, I'll say uh, just – being aware of everything that's going on, uh, being aware about us, being aware about what the other team is doing um, in the game, outside of soccer, just how focused they are when it comes to like game days and like training. Um, there's no joking around. So um, that they're very focused, like Alex, Drusy, Cecilio, Diego, um, they're guys that are straight to the point and uh, they're also amazing people. So um, yeah. Do you still feel like a rookie? I know early in the year we kind of talked about how it's a lot faster and stuff. Has, has it kind of slowed down to you? Do you still feel new or are you starting to kind of feel like, you you know, you're starting to get a hang of what this league is? Uh, it's a it's a process. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a veteran, but um, I'm, st I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still adapting to everything. So um, it's been great as well having those kind of plays around me. Um, that know so much that are so good uh, also helps me a lot like way more so um I'll say I'm a rookie still <laughs> thank you uh next question Phil West go ahead uh, great. Yeah, thanks. I just want to ask a little bit about the Portland game. Um, you had played a little bit uh, further back and Alex had played a little bit um, more advanced. Alex talked about that in, in his press conference, but I just wanted to get kind of your thoughts about that and just kind of how that that helped you kind of see the game and impact the game from from, you know, maybe a little bit further behind than you would have been normally. Um, well, it was uh, we were trying something new and also Josh likes to challenge me. Um, because he tells me that I have uh, a lot of potential and he doesn't know what my ceiling is, but um, mostly just because of what we needed. We needed guys in the pockets, and Alex is very experienced, um, knows how to turn, is always aware of what's going on around him. And I'm a guy that I can do it as well, but he can do it better than me. But I can also distribute the ball from the middle, and that's what I did. That's what Josh asked me to do to get the ball behind the strikers and or this striker and just give it to Alex in the pocket, Drew in the pocket. Um, and I'm a little, Josh says I'm a little more, more mobile, mobile um, under the center, the striker. So um, yeah, it was just tactics. And I think I'm going to stay there since it was a good game. Um, training, like I just got to, it was my first time playing there since LA Galaxy. Um, so it's new position, but it's almost the same. So it's, I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, I mean, it all looked pretty good from us uh, from the press box. But what did Josh have to say after? Just, I mean, it sounds like maybe pretty positive. Yeah, yeah, he was pretty, pretty happy with my performance there. Um, he thought I did good. And obviously, there's always room to grow. But um, just got to keep working on it. Um, body shape, uh, always being uh, aware of my surroundings and yeah, just little stuff that that will get better. Thank you. Uh, next question, Ben Bear. Hi, Danny. Uh, so Alex just said before that you know this week is just another opportunity to get three points, but you know with Dallas coming to town and with you know a win, you would jump ahead of them in the standings and, and get a little closer to that playoff line. You know how big is this game? Do you feel? Uh, it's big, <laughs> um, like every other game. Um, every game is big. Obviously, three points will be will help us a lot. Try to move up on the standings, and um, it'll be another good game. Dallas is a good team. Um, they beat us already, and it's a rivalry game. So we're gonna we're gonna come out hungry just because of the last game, and um, 
rivalry game and also the three points, is, which is what we need to keep moving in the standings. And, and what do you expect the atmosphere to be like, you know, on Sunday night at, at, at Q2? Uh, it's going to be crazy like always. <laughs> um, it's a Sunday. Um, it's a rivalry game. Uh, and I, I, I like we won the last game, so that kind of bumps up the the fans who encouraged us to come. And I know I know they'll be there for us. So it'll be it'll be another crazy environment. Uh, thank you. Next question, Mark Turner. Hey, Danny. Long time. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> So you mentioned, obviously, the senior pros are very, uh, very professional, very focused, no messing around, especially on game day. But, you know, Josh had talked to us about the fact that, you know, during this pandemic, you guys haven't really been able to get out as a team, right? Be out, go out and do fun things and bring your families together. It's, it's the quarantining and everything. It's some social distancing. It's been hard. So I've been in enough locker rooms to know that this goes on even when you guys are, like, super serious. Who is the biggest joker? on the Austin FC roster? I mean, who just cracks the guys up? Who's just always dropping them? I mean, there's a lot of people. Uh, I'll say Kakuda is always messing around, always trying to piss someone off. Um, Johan, like the Spanish speakers, they know he's a joker. He's always, he's always making jokes and always happy. Um, I'll say I'm pretty, I'm pretty annoying too. I like, I like, I like messing with the, with the old guys like Alex and and Hector, I like I like calling them like grandpas, Ben Sweat. Um, they just we have a we have, we have a good group of joking with jokers. <laughs> good to hear, man. Uh, thank you. Um, it looks like we have time for one more question. Um, Jorge Duralde, go ahead and take the last question. Hola, Dani. Eh, acabas de mencionar acerca de, de el partido del domingo. Ustedes eh, ¿Cómo se siente en esa rivalidad? Ya lo he preguntado a Josh, ya lo pregunté a Alex hace unos momentos. ¿Tú cómo sientes esa rivalidad? Y no sé si te has dado cuenta que de repente los fans de un equipo y de otro pues están peleando en social media. Uh, bueno, eh, la rivalidad todavía no la siento así muy, muy como mucha rivalidad porque soy nuevo la liga y nunca he tenido rivalidades así en, en mi carrera, pero... Um, sé que es muy grande, sé que es muy importante para, para la gente de Austin entonces intento, intento de meterme en la mente que, que es un partido muy importante para ellos como lo es para nosotros entonces bueno, que se estén peleando en, la, en social media me parece un, no, 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 me, no no es que no me importe sino que no le veo el sentido al final todos estamos jugando lo mismo no, todos estamos aquí por la misma razón intentando disfrutarlo, obviamente es competitivo pero al final todos somos Somos una, una gran familia, pero obviamente la rivalidad es lo, lo que cambia todo. Pero um, nada, vamos a intentar de ganar los tres puntos el domingo y, y con esa rivalidad entre de nosotros, de nuestro lado. Oye, Alex, hace un momento habló muy bien de ti. Bueno, en realidad todo el mundo habla bien de ti. Yo creo que nosotros desde afuera también vemos el esfuerzo. Eh, tú llegas de Venezuela, perteneciste a un... Jugaste con algunas selecciones menores... Pero estando ya aquí, eh, ¿tienes el deseo, el sueño de repente de, de repente de representar a tu país si es que llega el momento? ¿O ya eh, preferirías representar a Estados Unidos en caso de que también llegue la oportunidad? Sí, uh, uh, cualquiera que llegue, yo creo que primero Venezuela, porque nací allá y me crecí allá hasta los 15 y toda mi familia es allá. Entonces, yo creo que primero me gustaría representar a Venezuela, pero si Estados Unidos me abre las puertas también, también con mucho gusto. Pero nada, por ahora estoy enfocado en Austin y no pienso mucho en eso. Pero sí es un sueño que tienes así, este, representar, jugar un mundial. Sí, sí, claro. El sueño de todo jugador, jugar un mundial, jugar con su, representar a su país, uh, esperando, trabajando para eso, para que cuando llegue el momento estemos listos. Suerte el domingo. Gracias. Thank you. Looks like that was.